Johnny Future. Yay, Johnny. Yay, Johnny, who said he was sending us a brick. Is it a gold brick? that will be a sweet gold brick. Yeah, I'll even, if it's that size. I'll even take silver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a silver brick that size. But no, that's not what it is. But I'm sure that whatever is in here will still be interesting. If I can get into it. A little complication. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's more Mad Magazines. Yay, Mad Magazines. Because he had sent a bunch of Mad Magazines before. Mm-hmm. And that's what we have here. There's more vintage Mad Magazines. I don't know how the glare is on that. It's fine right there. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because he's been collecting Mad Magazines. And he's sent... Oh, somebody tried to do some of their math homework on this one. Mm. He's been sending some extras to me. Eek. Yeah. Batman and Robin. And that's pretty cool. 1968. These are older editions. Goodness. Hmm. And again, these are things that you can add to your collection that... Sometimes don't cost a heck of a lot, yeah. but they add um, variety. They're nostalgic because you probably grew up with it. Or even if you're younger, um, you might have heard of Mad and Crack Magazine or Highlights or um, what was that other magazine? Um, the Connection. Uh-oh. Now this one, he must have heard me talk about it. It's the March 1984, and you see he's urinating into the snow there. And this particular issue, um, I have a memory of. And I remember it because I played hooky that day. I went to CVS, and I bought this Mad Magazine, and I went to the park, and it was March. March in... Boston, which was about as cold as it looks on the cover of this book. It was mm. freezing out, but I would rather be wandering the streets in 12 degree weather in the snow and slush than in school because hmm. that's how bad it was. That's junior high. Uh, I hated it. And I had bought this issue and I sat in the park and read it. And so I just remember this one really well. And that's my. Mad Magazine, March 1984 story. I remember my brother <laughs> used to get Mad Magazines, and I remember flipping through it as a kid. Yeah, Mad and Cracked were the two, the two biggest ones. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you very much, Johnny Future. Thank you for the memories. This is one that if I had seen it in an antique mall or something, I probably would have grabbed it. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, so... Again, thank you very much. Thanks for the memories, and thanks for sharing that with us. Okay. Go ahead. In case anyone was wondering, my wife has an awesome husband. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, this came while my wife was at her parents so I already split it open but we're gonna go ahead and complete the unboxing uh -oh. there's some cool stuff in here Ooh. this I could not resist I was worried about this package actually which is why I went ahead and opened it anyways because mm -hmm. I cut a deal with somebody and I wasn't sure if everything was gonna go okay but it turned out all right in the end I guess all right so that's good I couldn't resist this. It's a vintage Hasbro Snoopy copter pull toy. <laughs> sealed in the box. This has never been opened. Oh, wow. Never been opened. You pull it and his ears spin and around. his ears spin around. See, like a helicopter. Because remember, he used to do that in the, in the comic. 
and the comic strips. And this is from the 70s. This is pre-barcode. This is an old piece, and it's never been opened. And I'm just like, oh, I've got to have it, because I love, see, the Hasbro preschool, like romper room style stuff. Mm -hmm. That's and cool. it says, each spin round around funny boing boing sound. <laughs> is what it says. I'll, I, I've got a soft spot for the peanuts. And I was like, I was like you know, it's not worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, i got to have that. That is so cool. Yes. And then this was in the deal. Uh-oh. The G.I. Joe. So you can do another journey. Yeah, I will do another journey. If I can get it out of the box. Out of, out of the, the paper. Out of the bag. The bag. Doesn't want to how they get it in there. This is the G.I. Joe Weapons Transport. Mm -hmm. It's a little dusty. Yeah, wipe it off. It is also factory sealed. Yeah, there's no punch. Yeah, unpunched as well. This has never been opened. And that's uh, barbecue right there. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites when I was a kid, the action figure, not the character. But... Yeah, how could you pass that up? And there's one more piece in here that has never been opened before. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, he bought me something. I haven't done a mess in the universe. Well, you're going to be able to do one again. Long time. That is the original first version of yeah, the Land Shark. It's new. And this one is also factory, factory sealed. sealed. This has never been opened. I wish I could figure out how to repair the window, the cellophane. Yeah, well, I mean, you, without opening it, you're not going to fix this one. Yeah. But. If it has been opened, it can be it can be placed back up. Mm -hmm. But oh, I oh look at that! Yeah, I couldn't resist <laughs> an early birthday present. <laughs> oh if, boy! If you will look at that artwork. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit. And you got the uh, the new one, don't you? Yeah. So the when origins. I do this journey, I can show both can you know kind of compare it as much as i can well the box See, push, <laughs> what it look like push forward shark jaws swing open and snap shut hmm. land shark the price tag's been removed did they nice even show the land shark on the show i don't remember yeah towards the end of the series uh, okay uh, we did see it a couple of times because there's a lot of stuff that's out that they never showed on the show yeah but there you go all right this one is following along with our children's books. You see we got a nice stack of sweet pickles. Found these at the Value Village for a really, really good price, actually, if anyone remembers this series from the 70s. Mm -hmm. These are just really cool. Yeah, and all of these were at Value Village at one time. Yeah, all together in the, car mm -hmm. in the cart. And it's like, yeah, get them. But looking at them more and more for childhood books, I came across this one while I was searching for a specific book, Donkey Donkey. And this is part of the uh, Parents Magazine book series that they used to do like in the 70s. They don't do that kind of stuff no, no more. No, but I just had to have it because I really, oh my God, barely. Oh, this belonged to Mendy Dooley. Well, I got it now. I just remember this book really well. And I, I didn't remember it until I saw it. And when I saw the book, I was like, holy crap, I had that book when I was like five mm -hmm. or six years old or something. And so I was like, what the hell, I'll get it. Because a lot of these vintage books, they don't cost a lot. Mm -mm. I mean, I paid like $2 for it. Mm -hmm. I don't usually talk about what I pay for stuff, but the book's in great shape and it was like two bucks and that's a genuine piece of nostalgia there so i figured why not now this i don't know what's going on here look at this it's just it's all puffy god let's just jam everything into a bag yep i'm afraid to cut. flat rate yeah flat rate thank you if it fits it ships that's yeah. what they say on the commercial yeah so that means you make it fit make it fit I wonder what's in here. It looks like a t-shirt. Yeah. Those are 
Oh, it's a jean jacket. It is a vintage Ooh. denim jacket. And it is an official Whoa. WWF denim yeah. jacket. What's on the back? Anybody? Well, there's nothing on the back. Oh, okay. It's just like, you know, yeah. vendor jacket, mm -hmm. something like that. And guess who this is for? Oh, is that for me? Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. Because somebody's been looking for a vintage denim jacket. Yeah, but I wanted to sew patches on it. Yeah. Can I can, still sew patches on that? You, if you want to, you can sew patches oh, okay. on this. Okay, cool. I just thought, it, you know, because it was WWF, that'd be cool. Yeah, that patch is already on, so I'm yeah. going to add some other patches that um, uh, Masters Mexico sent me a bunch of uh, patches. Ma yeah, Masters of the Universe ones. Yeah, so... Um, I wanted to get a vintage jean jacket to sew it on so mm -hmm. now I can sew it on. And there you go. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. You have a package. I'm really nervous about that. Yeah, because... What I'm getting should not fit in that box and it shouldn't be that size. It should be much bigger. Well, you can make it fit. And they did not say it was loose. They showed it sealed in the box. So maybe it's smaller than what I think. But I already got that series and everything else is bigger than that. I see paper. Yeah, me too. That don't mean nothing. They trimmed this down to get it under 16 inches. Or 16 ounces, okay. I should say. Well, it is in the box. Huh. Oh, that's smaller than what I thought. You shrink wrapped it. If I knew that, I wouldn't have got it. I didn't pay a fortune. No, I actually didn't. I was watching it for a while and it kept coming down because um, it was too much. So they kept coming down and it kept coming down for months until it finally got to a decent price. But I didn't know it was that small. Okay. You can't even see him. Yeah. He's like in the corner. Well, they got this series as um, Bible Greats. Yeah. But then they have it in the box like this, and it's a bigger one. And so, you know, when I saw it, I thought it was the bigger one, not the mini one. Because they have a mini version and then a bigger version. And they have it, the same thing on the card. They have the carded versions, and uh -huh. they have a big version and a little version. And this one is the little version, and I didn't know. This so. is like a five points of articulation figure. Yeah. But geez, you can't even see them. Yeah, and that's the one thing. I don't know why they don't put the figure where this card is. And put the card on yeah. the side. But that's how it is, even in a bigger version. Collect so. them all. Look at the original price. Five ninety nine. Well, you know, it's a Christian um, bookstore. Well, I guess. Yeah, always overpriced. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. And this is from Big Bad Toy Store. Obviously. They want you to know for sure <laughs> that it's from Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah. There can be no mistake about it. They're about as bad as Justice Curry with that tape. Oh, the Remember, tape with his face all over. Where do you even get that? I don't know. I it guess was... it's a specialty store online. Yeah, there's got to be something like that. You send them something. And of course, Big Bad Toy Store gives you the option of combining your packages. Yeah. To save on postage. And sometimes they pull the okie doke on you and you get your package. This is all upside down. That's nice. Oh, did you open it upside down? No, actually, it was sideways. Mm. The the labels on the side. Mm. But there's your Stridor. Yeah, cause I like the um, the vehicles and the animals on the uh, origins. Origins. Line. So I am getting that. I hope they do Night Stalker because Night Stalker is not done often. No. So I hope they do the Night Stalker. Yeah, good look at the artwork up there. Yeah, some good artwork. And of course it's in Walmart and you can find and it everywhere. Go all the way around. Um, when Origins first came out, it was hard to find yeah. some of these pieces, but they're everywhere now. See, so new for twenty two. Mm-hmm. So but I yeah, did want that. It's uh it's cr it's popped up a lot more recently. Yeah. So nothing special on the bottom. 
mm-hmm. one time assembly because you needed to know the only two pieces it comes with fit together. <laughs> <laughs> That's how intelligent they think their audience is. Yeah. And whatever this is. Super 7 Ninja Turtle stuff. Really? You got it from Big Bad Toy Store instead of... Yeah, from, instead of Super instead 7. Instead of Super 7? Mm-hmm. That's I usually get them all from Super 7, yeah. but I got it from uh, uh, Big Bad Toy so Store this Casey time. Casey Jones. Now, you're lucky you were able to combine these two because my cart, whenever I've done it, do you want to look at these? or? Oh, yeah, we can okay. look at them so people can see it if they haven't already. Yeah, because whenever I combine anything... Um, it always times out just before the next thing's put in the basket. Yeah, um, my um, Ninja Turtles was about to time out, and then uh, Stridor became available. So that's the Casey Jones. Yeah. Because I did collect the Ninja Turtles uh, wave, so I have all that's available right now. It's still yeah. a lot out there. I don't know if I'm going to get any more, though. But, you know, I have them. Let's see if I can get it back in the bag. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that that's always been my lot. It's like it times out, and I had that happen with two things in a row. Mm-hmm. Where, like, after it dropped into the cart, it, it expired or I had something sitting in the cart and it had a week to go and right after it expired something dropped in <laughs> and after about the third time with that I about had it with Big Bad Toy Store it's not their fault yeah it is, they do it on purpose yeah they probably do Who knows? And that I think that looks good Muckman and Joe Eyeball I think that's a um, you know it just looked good and interesting with all of the details. he's got a hole clean through him yeah and all that. I think um See, like I think it looks good. Teddy bear stuck in him and a worm and flowers, yes, all kinds of stuff. A milk carton. A frog is stuck to him. Yeah. Muckman indeed. Bizarre character. Yeah. And there's Kitty. Look She's in here? Yeah, oh. See, there she goes, sneaking around. She can come down here. Crumb can't. Yeah, he don't know that. He uh, he gets into too much mischief, right, Kitty? Yeah, Hi. He like to jump on top of stuff yes, and yeah, and rub on things and be weird. And she just kind of like hangs out, so it's different yeah. for her. She doesn't climb. He likes to climb and get in the ceiling. Oh God, yeah. And do all that, Donatello. Donatello. Because Lord knows he hasn't been done enough. I know. And that's really the thing too. With all these different companies making this stuff, and and they kind of, kind of wears you out after a while. You're yeah. like, how many versions of Donatello do I need? Huh. Yeah, and that's what oh. I. That's what happened with me with the Ninja Turtles because I was getting the NECA ones and um, Super 7 and I got tired of the NECA because it was so hard to find because they were exclusive to Target or Walmart depending upon wh- what type yeah because you had to, what the Turtles in Time and then the cartoon well not Turtles in Time the movie version movie and the cartoon version and the animated version yeah and um, I wanted the cartoon version which was uh, exclusive to Target and that was hard to find the two packs who gave him braces uh, Ninja, t- I mean, uh, <laughs> Super Seven. I Somebody guess. gave him braces. Say, so, yeah, I want to know what dentist office he went to. Yeah, so I gave up on the NECA ones. I don't even try, but I still have them. The ones that I have, I still have. Um, and I just got the Super Seven ones. And that's my same old argument, even with the GI Joe stuff. It's like, how many different companies? Yeah, you just have to need? pick one, and then. You, you get that one. And I was doing both and then got tired of one. And I just stuck with the Super 7 one because yeah. it was easy to get. You can get it from Super 7, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. Um, so you just had a lot of options. Yes. So you didn't have to play the game of going to the store, wishing it's there, finding it on eBay for double and triple the money. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's what put me completely off of the Cobra Island. Mm-hmm. You never found any Cobra Island, did you? Uh, sh- 
uh, somebody sent me one. <laughs> but yeah, I just. You got so frustrated. Yeah, I just don't even want to do it anymore. Mm hmm. And here we go again. Two different packages. Two boxes. A little bit of crunching. A little bit of crunching. Yeah. Crunching courtesy of the post office. Yes. And crunching. Courtesy of the post courtesy office. Courtesy of FedEx. Oh, FedEx. Mm -hmm. And the post office. And the post office. And I'm sure you know what this is. Yeah, I know what both of them are. Oh, wow. You always know. And this is from Super 7. Yes. Panthro. Panthro. And Lino. And you have the original like Mattel ones. Yeah. I have the Mattel ones and when Super 7 came out and announced that they were going to do theirs, at first they didn't say, you know, it was going to be Ultimates and what it was going to look like. So I was like, well, I don't need to order that because I already have it. And then, um, you know, it came out and it showed it was the Ultimates and I was like, okay, whatever. It's still the same thing. Yeah, literally it's the same figures. Yeah, but then they came out with the Thunder Tank and I did order the Thunder Tank. So after I ordered the Thunder Tank and it's supposed to be able to fit these figures in, I just bought Lino and Ty um and Panthro to go with the Thunder Tank. And it's that was four claw shields. I don't know why he got so many claw shields. Claw shields. And he got like three swords. Two yeah. of them. That one's like attached. Little, oh, okay. And that's the one that comes out, and that's the full blown sword. Mm, I don't know what's up with so all that. So you got these so that you could put them with your thunder tank. Yeah. Okay. That's why I got those. All right, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You don't want anybody else in the thunder tank? No, I didn't need all that going on. All right. I did order the rest of the waves that are currently on pre order, so when those come in, I'll have them. Um, because they have yeah. different characters than the original, what came out originally. Yeah. They, they did more. So I got that. Okay. Mm hmm So there's that. Mm hmm And then we'll open the other box. Yeah, see what's in there. Mm hmm Okay. This is Mumra, oh the God. Ever Living. Again, Super Seven. Um, Tigra and Groon the Destroyer. Yeah, and they're releasing like wave one and two of their um, ultimate Thundercats. Yeah, they're getting caught here. up a little bit. Yeah. This wave right here with Tigra and Groon and Mumra was supposed to have Shatara, but they didn't like her sculpt, so they. Uh, sent it back and they sent you all of this and they're gonna send Chitara later. I notice also mm -hmm. these are bagged and the reissues were not. Yeah. Let's look at the groom really quickly. He looks good. Yeah. And he's, he's got a thundercat. The, the broken sort of omens. Mm hmm I thought he was bigger. But, yeah, There's yeah, he extra, was pretty big an extra on breastplate the, in there. Oh yeah, he was pretty big on the yeah. show, but you know, okay. then they would have charged you sixty dollars. Oh, it has a little uh, some art and a description. Hold on, so you can read it, and then the artwork. Okay, that's Boom. nice. Destroyer. And that's something that wasn't done in the Mattel. So um, that's why I got these. Like I said, the first wave had Lionel, Panthro, and Mumra. Yeah, Mom, um, Mattel just kind of gave up. I mean, they put a wave out, and then they were just like, whatever, and then just stopped. Yeah. 
And that <clears throat> sucks when a, when a company does that. And then they didn't even put out all of the main characters because they didn't put out Tigra. They didn't put out Shatara yeah. in, the, in, in their slide or anything. So it was like, you know, you just kind of gave up on it before it really got going. Yeah. As they wanted to put an end to Maddie Club. Yeah. Mm, this is Tigra. He should come with a silky fruit. No. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are into Thundercats and know what I'm talking about there. Tigra always got addicted to some type of drug. Yeah, that happened to him twice. The other one was an addiction to... Uh, that whatever that charm. object was, yeah, that he was, was carrying around. Yeah, oh, he was. <laughs> he looked, looked like a crackhead. Yeah, he, looked he had real lost bad. all kinds of weight, and he was just looking pathetic. Yeah, he was super puny, and his eyes were all bulging out. And it's like, <laughs> oh my god, Tiger! They always used him as like the attic. Yeah. And he was supposed to be the wisest one. When he wasn't addicted, he, he was wise. When he wasn't having an addiction problem, okay. And then this box. And this is Mumra the Ever Living. The Ever Living. Transformed Mumra. Yeah. If I can get it out. And it's a big old box. And I probably would take the Mattel ones down and put these up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just to change it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, and it comes with Mama. Mama. Mama is awesome. Yeah. I love Mama. So, and, and that looks like a cloth cape. Yeah, it looks mixed media. It is. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we have some little writing. Let me zoom in so y'all can pause it and read it. And then the picture. Great artwork. Yeah. That's cool, though. And I always like to see Mama. Mama looks like he's jointed also. Yeah, you he's can see his little, his little arms. Yeah, there. he's not a figurine. Mm -hmm. And he's not always done. No, LJ ended him originally. Mm. But, uh, yeah, Mama doesn't get thought of often, and he should be. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Another Super 7 box? Another Super 7 and You went ahead and opened this one because you weren't sure about this one. Yeah. You liked it. Which, which one was this? Yeah, that then, one confused me quite yeah. a bit. And then you figured it out. Yeah, so we... It's more Thundercats as Super 7 is finally catching up with some of their orders because they were really falling behind. Yeah. And so this was... I delivered. guess this is wave three. I'm uh -huh. not sure because <laughs> they sent oh, out oh. waves like... Waves before other wave they didn't send it out in order. Uh -huh. um, so like they sent out four before one and three and all kind of stuff. So I really don't know what wave this is. Um, but oh, that didn't work. this is it. And this is what the snowman of Hook Mountain. Uh, I wonder if it comes with snow meow. Yeah, the snowman of Hook Mountain. That would be cool. If box is too small to have snow meow in there. Oh, Ooh, boy, bastards. wow. There's no snow meow, son of a biscuit eater. I don't eater. remember him with that mask on. With the helmet? Mm-hmm. I don't really remember the helmet. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in the back there. Yeah, there's I don't some know hands. If you can see it. And he's got the lance and the shield and yeah. the spear. Would have been cool if snow meow was there. Yeah, what's up with that? Where's Maybe snow they'll meow? do a snow meow by himself. Yeah, because uh, I know Snowman's been done. was done by LJN, mm -hmm. but it was not, uh, has not been done since. Mm -hmm. And who is this one? I didn't see the name on the Monkey thing. Monkey Inn. Monkey Inn. Oh, 
wow, look at that face. Well, they could have just hinged his jaw, but okay. Yeah, you get he two had two heads. heads, and it's a metal chain because I heard it rattling. Okay. And his uh, shield that shoots little fireballs. <laughs> monkey and he has a friend she lives in a tree I don't know if you remember that episode no. he was like who told you that oh a friend of mine what friend uh, she, well, she lives in a tree mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like okay monkey and did have all the information yeah. all the gossip he must have found some like uh, that willow third, people third earth like monkey girlfriend I guess I don't know because <laughs> when um, Lionel was doing his uh, little test he knew every step of the test and what was next and what had to happen and they were like how do you know all this this is Linkso I never figured out what kind of cat Linkso is supposed to be a lynx oh okay with his braille board. That, I never understood that braille board. Because the braille board don't exist. Because they, cause when they tried to use the braille board one time, the, I think it was the mutants and it disappeared. Was it the mutants or no? It was the lunatics. Mm -hmm. And it disappeared. Where did it go? Back where it came from. And apparently he imagines the board. So it's not so even... So what is he typing on all day because he don't sleep? Because it's... Uh, the, the board is like something that he projects from his mind or something like that. It's some weird thing. I thought Tigra, not Tigra, uh, Panthro. Panthro made him the Braille board. Yeah, they say that, but then when he was captured by the Lunatics, it was a different story. Where'd the board go? He, where you can't get it, it's in my mind. Uh, I don't. I don't remember that. I remember <laughs> Panthro making him that board. Yeah, but well. then it does make, kind of make sense what you just said because when he got on the airplane or anything, that board was there. Yeah. And then he had this huge one inside of the uh, tower. Yeah, the tower moments. Which I didn't understand the purpose of the tower. It was so that they could ditch some of the Thundercats. Yeah, as soon as that tower got built, you sure didn't see half of them anymore. And this Pumra. You remember Pumra? Mm hmm. And the wrapped up uh, Sword of Omens. And of course, that is when he Mamra. pretended to be a Thundarian that was, um, I guess, lost on Third Earth. A refugee, if you will, and Chitara fell for him. Yeah, Hook, she, yeah, she, she was all in love. She said, found me a man and brought him back. And of course, he infiltrated the lair for the 50th time. Because <laughs> Mumra was always doing that, pretending to be something. And then they let him into the lair. <laughs> he got over on him every freaking time. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. Mm -hmm.